Let's talk about drip sequences for a second uh, and how to set those up, okay? So drip sequences, drip automation is uh, a big component of the elephant. Um, when we click over on tools and we go over to our ringless voicemail or text in our email, each one of these has a spot for drips, okay? So I can do any series of ringless voicemail, text message, and email in a drip sequence. And the way to set these up is, is the first step that you've got to do before anything is you've got to create the group that's going to trigger the automation. Okay, so what we're going to do and follow along, what we're going to do is we're going to click up on the profile and go to settings, and we are going to do groups right here. Now, once we do group, I'm going to add a new group. So every drip sequence that you do is going to have its own group affiliation. So I'm going to click new group and this one here, let's just call it onboarding. So this will be for a new client. Okay. Now, once we have the group onboarding, all we need to do is attach the different automations to that group. All right. And what that looks like is if we come over to tools now, and I want a text message to go out instantly as soon as someone gets added to the onboarding group, maybe welcoming them to the agency, right? We will go drips and hit new, so the plus sign. And this one here, we'll call it onboarding. Now the group, we want to make sure matches that group we just, well, I don't want it attached to business contacts. I want it on onboarding. What this is saying is now onboarding group is the trigger. And then on the next page is where we will send the actual automations out. Okay. So inside of a drip, you can have a throttle rate. So with something like onboarding, you probably don't have to worry about this much. Um, we'll, we'll juice it up to a availability of a hundred for every 15 minutes. Okay. Again, on a lot of these, you don't really need to worry about throttle rate. This is just saying how many people it can send that message to and in what amount of time. Okay. For your time constraints, if this is going to be a multi-step drip, meaning you're going to send them an instant text message, maybe text them again on day three and maybe again on day 18, what you're going to want to do is probably block off your weekends and all major holidays. Okay, this way, if a drip sequence is scheduled to go out on a Sunday, I don't want to bother someone checking in with them or asking for a Google review or whatever that step of the drip is. I don't want that going out to them on a weekend. Okay, so this is where you would come in and say, okay, I want this to run, but I only want to run Monday through Friday from this time to this time. So what happens if Saturday is day 18 for that person? It won't send on Saturday. It won't send on Sunday. It will then default to the next earliest time, which would be Monday at eight in the morning. So if that's too early for you, you might want to bump that up to nine. Okay, so once we've set up the rules, all right, we've named it. We said what group is going to trigger the automation. We've selected our inbound number. So the only number assigned inside of my account is this. This is the agency elephant number. We've uh, throttled this up. Okay. And we've put in our time constraints. Once I hit submit, this next screen is where the rubber meets the road. So if I wanted an instant text message, <clears throat> excuse me, to go out to this person, I would type in zero right here. Zero is instant. Okay, so if it's four in the afternoon and I add Bob to the onboarding, Bob's going to get that text message instantly because I'm Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Okay, if I didn't want Bob to get this until day three, I would type in a three here. Now, when you type in three, it's going to add a field. It's going to ask you what time do you want this to go out on day three? Okay. So let's say 1030 in the morning, we want this one to go out on day three. Okay, so that's the difference between the interval. Again, day zero is always going to send it instantly. All right. These tokens are cool. You can actually take information from Bob's profile and have it populate in the message. So if I wanted to use this drip, which you'll, you'll all want to on multiple people forever in here, I would say, hi, and then insert that token, their first name token, right here after hi. So now every one of these messages, when it sends, will say, hi, Bob, hi, Susan, hi, Sally, right? It'll put their first name in automatically. Just wanted 
to take a second and welcome you to the agency. Okay, whatever that script needs to be, but once I hit submit here, down at the bottom, there's step one of my drip, right? It's instant. Okay, so now if I write someone's policies today and I go into their profile in here and I add them to the onboarding, that text message is shooting out instantly. If I wanted to go and add uh, another step in here, I can do new SMS drip and now I can do that day three one that we talked about. And let's do this one at 1030 and I can say, hey, insert first name, would you mind doing a Google review for us. Here is the link, right? Whatever that is, www.google.com, whatever. And then maybe we're looking for five stars, right? And so now once we have that in here, now we've got two steps in this drip right? As soon as I add someone to onboarding, there's the group, there's the trigger. As soon as I add someone to onboarding, this message is going to fire out instantly. This one is going to fire out after three days at 1030 in the morning. Now, in the sake of time and to keep your attention, uh, I'm going to wrap this up with, yes, you can add all three technology types to a drip. So what you would do is you would build out your text message first, and then you would come back in you would go to tools, you would do ringless voicemail drips, and what you would do here is you would pre-record those voicemails, but then what you can do is add it to that same trigger. So the group again is always gonna be onboarding. And this might be a day five voicemail. Well now when you layer these up, now instant text, day three text, ringless voicemail on day five, all because everything is tied back to the onboarding group. Again, the group is always the trigger.